How will the transfer portal impact the Auburn Tigers? You are Locked On Auburn, your daily podcast on the Auburn Tigers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Yes, welcome on into Locked On Auburn, your daily Auburn Tigers podcast. I'm your host, Zach Blackerby, and thank you so much for making Locked On Auburn your first listen every single day day happy charlie tuesday to all who celebrate we're joined by auburn message board legend charlie five and we'll talk about the momentum around this program and hugh freeze's comments on monday and a lot of crutes a lot of flips charlie five i'm sure you are very excited this weekend about that and we'll get to that but the transfer portal you're already starting to kind of hear whispers of guys being interested you're seeing graphics made from national publications about, you know, so-and-so's entering the portal. We haven't seen that from an Auburn point of view yet, but it's going to happen, Charlie Five. And so when you look at this roster from top to bottom and how Hugh Freeze has been all on this roster management, how many guys do you think are going to leave the Auburn Tigers via the portal when it opens on December 5th? Look, it's never too – when it's coach firing season, that means it's portal season. It's, it's ready, time. It's yeah. ready to start talking about it. Um, I'm, I'm a, I am love recruiting, and this this portal stuff has just added a whole other dimension. December 5th, we're inside 30 days. Uh, it's going to open up. And, yes, Auburn uh, is undoubtedly going to look to add, and I assume we're going to – there's probably going to be several that would that we – you know, have to move move on from, or or will look to find playing time elsewhere. And I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if it's possibly in the double digits. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we could go uh, position by position, um, but I mean, I think you're going to have a ton of shakeup in in the wide receiver room. You're definitely going to have um, some shakeup. I mean, I say definitely more than likely the quarterback room. There's DBs that have been mentioned uh, to have. You know. Hughes mentioned some by name that, that you know they're working quote unquote working through things. Uh, um, yeah, I mean we're 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 going to lose players. We're probably going to lose players every year, and uh, especially when you're trying to get the right team in. And we may only be just you know a few. Uh, you see, we're building this momentum and building this offense, and you're sort of starting to find some playmakers. Yeah. Uh, and, and a Caleb Burton and, and Javarius Johnson now that he's healthy and Jay Fair. So what can you do to add to them? Is it strictly high school or do you go find, you know, try to find you another big time outside guy? But, yeah, I would expect at least double digit, uh, double digit guys. But I don't know that you're going to I don't know that you're going to lose anyone that you don't necessarily have to have to have like it, you're not going to you're not it's not going to be a scenario where I feel like we're going to lose that guy that we have to have if that makes sense yeah uh, I think a lot of guys that would be like eh, he could leave but some of these dudes are getting playing time like arguably quicker than they probably expected to like let's just start with the offensive line here like I have a hard time seeing anybody that's playing substantial snaps this year leaving right i mean gunner gunner britain's gonna go he's out of eligibility avery's out of eligibility dylan wade kind of a question mark i think going into the season he thought he'd be a draft pick I, I don't know exactly how high of an nfl draft pick he would be if it ended right now we'll see i think he's a guard at the next level with that height and so can he be persuaded to stay um and like Xavion Miller, you got to think he's happy with his current situation going from Juco to starter in the SEC pretty quickly. Connor Lou's got to be happy with his situation. And then you look at other dudes that could potentially start on the offensive line next year. Jaden Muskrat, he can't transfer, I don't think, unless he's going to be a grad transfer, but he's got to be happy. He's getting some playing time now. And then who's the other one? Dylan Cinda. He Cinda. can't transfer. He's young. He's, he's got to wait until he graduates to transfer again from Northwestern. So um, I, I have a hard time seeing like anybody who played relevant snaps on offensive line do that. I, I think yeah. you nailed it. I think the yeah. guys who are playing substantial snaps that are going to leave via the portal are playing wide receiver right now. Yes. A thousand, a thousand. And yeah, I mean, that that's it. You got, we just don't have that guy that is just your go he, he's your go-to guy on the outside i think you could lose all you could lose all of them uh minus 10 six and five we already talked but we already talked about those those are they're more inside uh slot guys but i think you could lose any of them and uh 
you're not you may not necessarily be that may not be necessarily that hard to re, hard to replace based off the production we've seen so far. But I think that'll be the biggest casualty group. And then I think there's again, I, I'll go back to the defensive back. There could be some defensive backs. I think uh, you know, Hughes mentioned uh you mentioned JD Rim. There was some mm-hmm. I don't know if there was some some discipline. There was a rumors of like a fight at practice or something like that, where you know they, he even said straight up, "We're working on our relationship. We're trying to repair our relationship." Could that be someone? You know, Austin. Uh, you know, Osbury. He was. You know, he was. Um, you know, highly ranked safety has not seen the field. Probably could find. Uh, you know, you bring in a JUCO safety to put to play next year. So is that somebody that? you know, could probably find playing time elsewhere, maybe. Um, I think wide receiver and DB uh, are probably going to be your biggest shakeups. I mean, and then – And quarterback. Who knows what happens at quarterback. I mean, if if Thorne, Th- Thorne should, has another year, he's gotten better and better. Yeah. Um, I don't know that, you, you know, does, does Holden want to go try to find playing time elsewhere or does he want to wait one more year? Does Robbie graduate in the spring and go try, try his luck, you know, somewhere where he can play right away? Um, those guys clocks, t- the clocks ticking on both of those and they, they got it. They should have at least one more year um, to wait it, because Thorns Thorns should be coming, th- should be coming back. I, I don't think the NFL is really a threat um, at all right now. Yeah, I think he would have. I think Thorne's biggest thing would be like, okay, is is Hugh Freeze going to try to bring somebody else in? And this is my last year of eligibility. I can I can transfer out. I'd be shocked if Holden Gurner stayed. I'm just going to be honest. I think Robbie yeah. will go through spring just because he graduates after spring. And and yeah, some have people to. have told me he ha- he graduates in the spring. And then some people have said he graduates early summer. So we'll see exactly what that looks like for him. But if that's the case, it doesn't matter when the portal window is open or not because he'd be a grad transfer, so he can leave. He could leave whenever that happened. So, exactly. but yeah, I mean, outside of Peyton and Hank, like I, I just don't see these other guys being on the roster next year. So that would be interesting. And then, of course, you got to have more quarterbacks than just those guys. So who who does Hugh Freeze go out and get? Then if Peyton goes, like, do you get multiple quarterbacks via the portal? Because then Walker White's coming in as well. So. It's going to be fun. We're going to get another offseason where it's going to be all quarterback talk, and I'm here for it. Hey, and there's several players that uh, – there's several players currently on the roster that if you can somehow get them to come back are just as good as as signing a, a, a top portal guy. And you, and you named one. Dylan already. Wade and Marcus mm-hmm. Harris are the two I'm Dylan looking at. And Hunter. Those are the three. Dark right? Hunter, I would, I would be pretty shocked if he was not back. But, uh, but yeah, like a, a Dylan Wade um, – I, Marcus, if I was Marcus, I would strike while it's his his stock is is incredible incredibly high. Jalen Simpson's another one whose stock's incredibly high. But you know, um, you got another year of uh, Jalen McLeod. He's got another year of availability. Um, do you? But he's he's getting hot of late. Uh, you know, is he is he becoming the player that you that you want him that you were hoping he could be? Yeah. Uh, huge game last game. He's he's healthy. Does does that keep building? You you bring him back. That's just like adding, you know, a big it's time. Back. Yeah. Yeah. So uh portal season's here, man. Uh you've already seen some Texas AM guys jump in after Jimbo's firing. Uh, you got uh Zach Arnett. I'm sure there's gonna be some Mississippi State guys that are gonna be, you know, hoping to get, you know, there's gonna be people that would love to pick off a few players here or there. If Will uh, Rogers entered the portal, would you would you want him? I don't know. The, I don't. Not over Peyton. No. Yeah. Not, not I think, over. Peyton. I think I'm with. Especially over the last few weeks, 100. percent I'm not saying I'm not open to any other quarterback, but um, uh, because what happened at you know A and M and Cal and early in the year happened. But I mean, he is getting better. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems like it seems like he's becoming more comfortable now that you know it seems like the 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 offense is almost. 100% uh, running through free, one, run, running through freeze, whether he's calling plays or okaying plays or not. You're seeing a ton of the tempo, the RPO game, and, and Peyton seems to thrive uh, in that. So, um, is that relationship building? Was that like a was three weeks ago like a really like a week one, and and now we're really building kinda the offense? Like it it kind of feels, feels like it. It kind of feels like it. Yeah, it kind of feels like that. So, portal season is 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 upon us. So just it, it, I love it. You don't have to wait till December fifth. The chatter is going to start from all over the place uh, already. 
the momentum around this football program is it's red hot right now, Charlie Five. And let's discuss what that could mean in just a moment right here on Locked On Auburn. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Jace Medical. Right now, you can go to Jace and you can get a one-year supply of your medication. Um, JaceMedical.com, 12-month supply. Doesn't matter what it is. They've got mostly everything covered. Head over to JaceMedical.com and use promo code Locked on at checkout to get that discount. The world is crazy right now. There's so many things that impact supply chain, and you don't want to have to wait for your medication. It is too important, and Jace Medical can help you. If you are someone you know you want peace of mind, you can give them a year supply of any daily medicine. Just go to jacemedical.com to see if it's offered for you. Remember to use promo code Locked On for a $20 uh, off your purchase. And once again, they also have Jace cases, which can give you several different antibiotics to keep in your home at all times. Check it all out, jacemedical.com. Charlie Five, Auburn Message Board legend, our guest today. Hugh Freeze talked about it in his press conference yesterday, about just the momentum that you can feel around this football program and sure so many people say oh it was against vandy mississippi state and arkansas it's like well it's more than that it's more than that it's the fact that it's halfway through the season after losing four in a row you look at things and you change them you change the offense a novel concept here players get better over the course of the season and i made the case over the last two shows charlie five I think every position group right now is playing its best ball of the season. And some of those, those bars were lower than we'd like them to be. But like, I think every group right now is playing its best football of the season in November. But then on top of that, you look at the recruiting that's happening. Auburn flips a very coveted recruit that's been committed to Florida, Jamonta Waller. He's now a part of this 2024 class. They go out and get a very talented and large and athletic 2025 four-star tight end. The momentum around what Hugh Freeze is building, it is ridiculous, Charlie Five. Yeah, and we've had these long – I feel like we've had these long pauses, and then we'll just hit like a flurry. It's almost like – you know, we're, we're, we'd want to jump in, but we just want to see a little bit more. We want to see, you know, see how the team uh, progresses. And you get three commits in like three days, uh, all very, very, very important guys. Jamonta Waller is, is just funny. He reminds me a lot of a Perry Thompson as far as like how fired up he is and like already talking with other recruits and, oh, yeah. and things like that. Act, very active on social media. Uh, stuff like that. And, you know, he's going to be your – I mean, it's going to be hard to keep this kid off the field when when he gets here. I mean, you're talking a very similar body type to like a Jalen McLeod, you, you know, uh, uh, almost another clone. Maybe not quite as – maybe not quite as quick, but maybe just as – power, maybe more powerful. So, uh, I mean, we're so close. We're – December 20th is early signing day. Um, you got the – you got to – with the A and M A and M firing a Jimbo, you got Cam Coleman back in back in the mix. Could you pull off a Perry Thompson, Cam Coleman, and then you know maybe a Ryan Williams reclassifies? What what kind of recruiting class could that be? Like That'd be insane. And, and then do you build like do do we start to see? I think you know I think personally we probably are going to start to see a few more commits drip here or there, and they're going to build to this Iron Bowl recruiting weekend crescendo that uh, could be something, you know, incredibly special. And then if, hey, I think all bets are off. Uh, 2.30, Jordan Hare, uh, Auburn on a four-game win streak with a lot of confidence, big uh, recruiting weekend. Like, I think all bets could are, are off there. And, you know, if you somehow pull that one off, like, holy cow. what could, Dude, an what, Auburn I, team that believes in itself at home can beat anybody. I, I can agree. beat anybody. And it, you know, I totally agree. Nick Saban's so good at motivating his players, but the fact that they'll already have the SEC West locked up, it's like, how do you not? How how does that not impact your focus? It's like, ah, nothing happens. Nothing happens. And he's going to preach playoff, right? He's going to preach playoff sure. over and sure. over and over again. 
So he's going to have them believing that it's a playoff game. And for them, it technically is. So like, that's probably going to be their motivation, but still, um, these are, you know, 19, 20, 21 year old kids. So we'll see how that impacts them. Absolutely. I, I just love, I love, I love step one when you're rebuilding a, a, a program is beat the teams you're supposed to beat and, and figure out a way to beat those teams. And I feel like we've done that this year. Those, the, the teams that we've played, we've beat them and we've beat them other than Cal, kind of how we should have beat them. Step two, take that momentum, grab you another piece here or there to make your team better. Now we're going to try to pick off some teams that are probably a little bit, maybe a little, that half a step up. You know, maybe you look at taking on an A&M or an Ole Miss or whoever. I know our schedule is wildly different next year, but, um, you right. know, and then then you're at, then you're at the point where, okay, we've, th those two steps are down. Now we're looking at making a run at a playoff. But when you got the 12-team mm -hmm. playoff is open, now you're looking at possibly making a run. So, uh, I just I love this. It, it's it's great too what, the way the schedule set up that we played this part of it at the end of the year. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because it just feels better. It feels better to have a chance to win four to five out of your last six, or possibly even your last six games um, going into signing day and going into bowl you know bowl season and recruiting and and, and then spring and you're, and you're you're just sort of building the excitement. I hated that four stretch open where we obviously lost and, and played poorly in several, but the way it kind of flip flopped and you can kind of not well, not an easy and path, it's, but it's an encouraging thing too in the four game losses. And I talked about this when Hank Brown came on the show last week. He talked about like you know we got to learn from the losses. And I mean, how many times do we hear coaches say that and they look the same? Right. And that that wasn't what happened for Auburn this no, year, which I think is encouraging. I think yeah. that's encouraging. And I think Hugh Freeze kind of understanding like, okay, I need to be more involved in the offense was good, was good. And clearly what he's doing on the recruiting front is still taking shape. So I, I don't see, I don't see this really changing a whole lot. All right. Something you said, uh, I want to set up this next conversation. When you look at Auburn's 2024 schedule, this is crazy to say, but it's New Mexico State Week. We're going to look ahead just a little bit. I told you we're going to take a bigger, zoomed-out picture of this. But I think when you look at Auburn and their 2024 schedule, I think Auburn's in a better spot than a bunch of teams. And there's a lot of reason for optimism for 2024. We discuss that in just a moment right here on Locked on Auburn. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at LinkedIn Jobs. These days, every new potential hire can feel like a high-stakes wager for your small business. You want to be 100% sure you have access to the best qualified candidates available. And if you want to be like Jimbo Fisher, or if you want to be <laughs> like Zach Arnett, uh, mm. head over to, uh, to LinkedIn Jobs, linkedinjobs.com. Uh, LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the qualified candidates you want to talk to faster. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. That is linkedin.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Charlie, if I'm looking at the 2024 schedule, and we don't have the order yet, but we do have the opponents. Auburn right. will open the season up against Cal unless for some reason they play a week zero game, which a conference week zero game would be wild. So uh, Cal at home, you feel good about that, right? Yep. New Mexico at home, you feel good. ULM at home, you feel good. You go to Alabama and to Georgia. You don't feel good about those, right? I'd right, remember. of course. But let's just go through the rest of these. Arkansas at home. Down. Love it. <laughs> Oklahoma at home. What's that what does that team look like after Dylan Gabriel? You know, you know, I think this is his last year. So what what do they look like? In yeah, and that place year, is gonna be so jazz too, dude. With we're Oklahoma. Be so going, fired it's up. so fun. It's gonna yes. be so fun. So much fun. Texas AM at home. Love that. Love, Love that. It too. Re they're going to lose players. They're going to be rebuilding. I, I love that. I love having them at home right after the, you know, the gym, the whole departure of Jimbo. Yeah. Vandy at home. Self-explanatory. It is what it is. Yeah. We, we, we said going to Georgia. I don't feel good about that. You go to Kentucky. I'm down. I like yeah, it. They, they can't beat an SEC team with a winning record. They just can't do it. And then you go to Missouri. I think Connor Cook will be gone. You'll feel better about that. 
That's not yeah. his name. It's not Connor. Brady Cook. Cook. Brady, Brady Cook. Cook. Yeah. Connor Cook was a Michigan State quarterback. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. It's like what what happens there. I do think that program is trending up, but we'll see if they can do it two years in a row. So that, that's going to be tough. But you just look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I don't think it's crazy to see like a nine and three season in twenty twenty four. Like I don't no. think that's a crazy thing to say. No, I mean I don't really see. I, I don't think you're going to be. Uh, you know, again, you got to keep the momentum going, and then depending on where Oklahoma falls on the schedule, uh, right. I, I don't know that you're. Go you, there's a good chance you may not be the underdog at home, like at all, the whole year. Like you may be the favorite at every single home game, uh, and then it just depends on what do you do uh, at Kentucky and Missouri. You know, those you're those two. Th you know, those are going to be the toss up games. Next yeah, those year. those two wins get you those, to you know mm -hmm. they're the eight to nine win difference. It's kind of weird not playing LSU, isn't it? No, or Ole Miss. It's bizarre. It, it's so, it's, Ole Miss games to me are forgettable a lot of times, but uh, LSU, it just, I just, I don't know. That's a weird one. Yeah. Playing Oklahoma is crazy, though. Like, this is, I can't wait. It's going to be so oh, much fun. But the I, new schedule, the new schedule is, is going to be so much fun in so many ways. But like, think about it as a player, mm -hmm. it's going to be set up to a way that you get to play at every single stadium. If you stay four years, you're going to get to play at every single stadium in the SEC. I think that's, that's so cool. freaking cool. I love and like, it. For fans, too, like over a four-year period, there's going to be a chance that we could attend every single SEC school. Like I, we, There's going to be a trips to Austin coming up. There's going to be trips to Norman coming up. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be we don't have hardly I feel like we never go to Gainesville. Like we get yeah. we're gonna start getting to go to Gainesville some. Like it's uh it's it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun and I, Everything seems to be hitting at the right time. 2024 has got a chance to take another step. And then you got, if you're still going, 2025 is the year where your home schedule is favorable. Um, you're hoping Walker White or whoever is going to be another, yeah. another, you know, red shirt, red shirt freshman or sophomore ready to go. Um, I'm just, uh, it, it's in the future. There's there's a lot of good things going. If you can just keep the momentum of the recruiting going, uh, there's a lot of good things. Uh, I feel like we're we're building on. Yeah, and so for the for the folks that say, oh well, it's Vandy or it's Mississippi State or it's Arkansas, like you're missing the point here. Like it's not about like right now. It's right. about what Hugh Freeze is building because we all knew that this would be a build. Exactly. And when you look at the the momentum to use his word, the momentum that Auburn football has right now. And you look at New Mexico State and then the Iron Bowl at home. Who knows what can happen? But you've got a chance to go to a solid bowl game. Yes. Get those extra practices. Get those extra snaps in. And I think you're going to be in a situation where there's going to be some attractive options in the portal. And I think Auburn's going to be an attractive place to land. It seems like On to Victory is set up to do that. And we're going to have some folks with On to Victory on the show this week. That's scheduled. So be sure to mm. check that out as far as the vision of what they're doing with Auburn's NIL program. But when you look at the 2024 schedule, it's a significantly better situation because Auburn is trending up. Texas A&M is trending down. All of these schools that you're kind of been fighting with positioning, you know, to get to the, the top few schools in the SEC West, they're trending down. They're trending down. And I think Auburn is trending up, like I said, with, uh, with Coach Free said, Monday at his presser about momentum. So we're booging. We're booging this week. And always booging. To the folks that say you can't overlook New Mexico State, I'm not playing on Saturday. We can talk about the Iron Bowl. <laughs> exactly. It's okay. I'll tell you who's not. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who's not overlooking New Mexico State, and that's Hugh Freeze after yeah, he took and, one. And on the, the players, team. right. <laughs> I've talked to a few. It's like, you ready for the Iron Bowl? It's like, I haven't even looked at it yet. It's like, good. That's the right answer. That's this the right answer. Bit, I mean, I feel like seven and five in year one is 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 just especially ending it on the note that you've ended it on or eight and four, mm -hmm. uh, before you go into bowl is just so cr so crucial and it's something that we obviously weren't a hundred percent sure we would see you know five right. games into the season so um, as I, I like where we're headed man I like where we're headed we're right I feel like we're right on schedule and with recruiting we may be a little I think bit we're ahead of schedule, schedule. now maybe ahead of schedule I think when you look at what's coming in this class and then some of the names that you and I are hearing that could be joining this class I mean it's crazy it's a crazy good situation to be in so Charlie five how can people check out everything that you've got going on bud 
Absolutely. Find me on Twitter at the underscore Charlie underscore five and the Locked On Auburn Discord every single day or auburnlive.com, the corner message board. Yeah, you can find all my written work at auburndaily.com and we will see you tomorrow. This has been Locked On Auburn.